Morning, scalp day. Let me go out here and show you the front yard. I'll show you what the condition of my lawn is. Now I'm scalping a little bit early so you guys can see it. Normally I would wait probably about a week or two, but let me show you the green haze. I don't know if you can see the green haze or not, but I've got this green haze popping up all over my lawn now. See it? I've got green haze all over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and scalp so I can put it on video for you guys. Hold on. We came out here a couple, was it a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, we did a pre-scalp. We put down our pre-emergent. We did a PGF balance as part of our jumpstart program. Now all this is covered in the lawn guides. Go to freelawncareguide.com. It has cool season, warm season, Bermuda, zoysia, and it walks you through every process that we're doing and every product that we're using. Next, uh, our grass, we took it down to about Oh, maybe three quarters of an inch. And when you scalp your lawn, you want your lawn scalped to at least half of your desired height. So if you want to have a two inch tall lawn, then you scalp down to one inch. So 50% of your green height is where you want to least scalp to. The problem for us is <laughs> we want to maintain about three quarters of an inch on our Bermuda. We're not going to go super, super short. So what's half of three quarters of an inch? That's small. So we basically have to scalp down really close to dirt here. That's what we're gonna to do today. Uh, we're gonna grab the big true cut because that just takes a whole bunch of abuse. We're gonna pick up the clippings. Always pick up your thatch clippings when you're doing your scalp. And uh, a couple other quick tips. Because we have healthy soil, we've got a ton of these. You know what these are? Worm castings. And when I say a ton of them, they are all over this place. Can you see all those black dots over there? Those are all worm castings. So those are all worm casting piles. Now, if you're using a rotary mower, it's no big deal. But if you're using a real mower, there's lots of little rocks in there. So you don't, you want to knock these down. So we'll take a leveling rake. We'll knock these down. We'll get the true cut. We'll put it out. And I may hit a little bit of green chalker out here. Maybe I'll wait one more week. Here's why. It's still too early really to fertilize. But guess what the temperature is going to be on Saturday? <laughs> 80. Sunday, 83. It's crazy. And you know what's going to happen. In March, we're going to have a freeze move in here again. But it's really warm. So this is a great time for us to start and get this thing going. All right. So uh, I played with this yesterday and how far I want to take it down. And I think it was on the second notch here. We're going to take it down pretty close to dirt. So I'm going to test it before I go out to the main area. I want to test it and see. So... One of the things I've found with the true cut is that if you take it all the way down, you end up getting this scraping binding action. You can't go to super, super low. You've got to keep it at like a quarter of an inch. So see where I'm hitting this dirt. And I don't know if that's the bed knife or we found, but we find it all the time. So even though we did a pre-scalp out here, we're still running into the same issue where almost every time we're just having to continually empty out these clippings. And so I may just pick it up with a John Deere. I'm just, it's such a pain to put these things in a wheelbarrow and take them out back. What a pain. This is one pass. This is the, this is the lawn that was pre-scalped here. And then this is the height we're going down to right here. See the difference there?
morning. Man, it's bright out here. It is so bright. Man, it's going to be 70s the rest of this week and this weekend. It's going to be 80 and then 83 degrees. Crazy. So now I'm going to throw down some green shocker. I'm doing everything. Now, now be aware that I'm doing everything a couple weeks early so I can put it on video. Normally, I would probably wait another week. But even with this 80s, I'm going to go ahead and put it down. Now, I've put down my pre-emergent and I've put down my PGF balance. Those are the two things I've put down. That's the jump start. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out with the next step, which is green shocker. Just light coats of green shocker every week or two, at, you know, at the bag rate or less. And uh, that's it. And I'm going to wait for my grass to green up. When my grass turns perfectly green and I'm happy with it, then I'm going to shut it off and I'm going to go to PGF complete. So let me grab So it. let me show you the opening size. Just so you can see what I'm talking about here. It's below a quarter of an inch, just over an eighth of an inch. I don't know if you can see that or not. And uh, I always double bolt my spreader to make sure that that first bolt doesn't slip. So this is what she looks like. It's almost the size of salt. This is a DG particle. As soon as we put it out, actually, I may wait till tonight because it's so sunny and warm out here. Tonight, what I'll do is I'll come out and I'll run a short, this is the way you do this, run a short cycle when at night, like at sunset, get the particles all wet, five minutes on each station. Wait about 15, 20 minutes, let those particles get really wet, and then run a soaking cycle, about 10 minutes. 15 minutes and water it into the ground and then do it the next day if you do that especially during like a summertime or when you're trying to get a green up it goes into the soil really fast this is instant release it turns into a liquid within minutes and goes right into the soil you get no runoff of this there's no runoff So I really want you to get a feel for the, the key to this product is particles per square inch. Now I'm putting it out too light right now. Um, I get this rate, I could put it out every five to seven days, but watch this. I'm gonna set a towel down here and I want you to watch the particle distribution because this is pretty cool. Now that's, that's insane. So I'm putting it down almost below the bag rate. And look at that. Look at the particle distribution. That's what I'm talking about, folks. Tiny, tiny particles. That's crazy. That is just crazy right there. Okay, so I'm all done. But um, see, see the particles per square inch here? This is on one of our pavers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just miss that and leave it for about 30 seconds. You can see these particles start to instantly dissolve. See what it turns into? So that's why I say spray this, leave it for about five or 10 minutes, then come back and then do your wetting cycle. It's pretty cool actually. So this goes right into your grass, right into the ground, works right in. And that's why we get uh, that's why we get almost zero runoff because it's in the ground, done. Pretty cool. So if you have any more questions about the jumpstart program or using the green shocker in the springtime, make sure you get the lawn guides because the calendars are up there. There are calendars that walk you through. You just need to adjust them for your area and for your grass. For the, there's cool season calendars, and there's warm season calendars, there's guides for both. But uh, again, this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this lawn with green shocker, you know, probably every week. Now, I, I put out green shocker, I put one bag on the front and I had some left over. And the front is 4,400 square feet. 
So I'm putting it out actually at four at 5,000 square feet per bag right now, just light, just light. I would probably go stronger than that if I wanted to see a green up like in the spring or something. Let me show you something because I've probably got the biggest announcement ever since I started this channel. I've got probably the biggest announcement coming up next week for you guys. And I'll give you a little hint. <laughs> oh, what is that, Doc? Well, I'm not going to go too deep into it, but uh, I got a big announcement coming up for you guys. A life-changing event that'll change everything we're doing here. It'll change this channel, everything. You're going to want to, we're going to want to hit subscribe. <laughs> Because when I announce it next week, it's going to be pretty amazing. Anyways, guys, take care of your lawn. Get out there and scout. Make sure your pre-emergence down. Make sure all your stuff. Sorry, I'm looking at worm castings. Make sure all your stuff is done and get the lawn, guys. Dot.